G'day guys, my name's I Ride Taz, and today, in theory, a quick video as we install eBay Chinese CNC machined aluminium clutch and brake levers. The XVS 650, the clutch bite point is right out at the tips of your fingers. So I thought I would purchase a set of these levers and use them to bring the bite point in uh, to a little bit closer to the bars so that I can adjust the so I can uh, control the clutch a little bit better considering that this is a lambs approved bike that actually makes riding it at very slow speeds around car parks a little bit more difficult uh, these aren't too bad a quality I did order silver and greys arrived so silver grey got lost in translation somewhere along the line but they won't look too bad uh, let's get them on in theory it's a quick job in practice we'll probably be here all day This video is brought to you by the Tasmanian Organic Coffee Co. It's coffee with conscience. Single source, organic, Colombian or Himalayan coffee from Tasmania, Australia. Just loosen the clutch using the handlebar adjuster as much as we can. That'll give us a little bit of slack. It's 10 mil socket and just up in under here Theory. You can feel the slack there. Just wind. The handlebar adjustment out. See that it's taking up the slack there. Always need about five cent piece thickness of slack. That's it about there. All right. So there's a little bit of slack you can feel. Before it drips. That's all there is to it for the clutch side. On the brake side, it's a little bit more involved, but not much. So just using a 5mm Allen key. lose the spring because that activates the uh, tail light. That's the screw that was in it stock. Or well, maybe it's not stock. 
Uh, that's the one I've found to replace it. This is a replacement bolt and nut. So just before you start cracking it and sending emails, there is a spacer. I didn't realise, but there's a spacer in here that will need to go in there. Guys, there's the clutch lever installed, and that's made a huge difference. I've got that on the middle setting, which is three. OEM levers right out there, if not even beyond setting six. So setting three brings it right back into exactly where I feel comfortable engaging and disengaging the clutch and finding the bite point. That's going to be really good. These were a little loose, so I just tightened them up before I hit the road. On the other side, uh, what I found was that the bolt here that actuates the hydraulic pressure that drives the disc brake, OEM was a different thread pitch, so it wouldn't wind in. So I used a M6 of the correct length, and I put a drop or two of uh, blue Loctite on it just to hold it. These were loose, so I tightened them, and that mounting point doesn't come with a spacer, so you've got to use the spacer from the OEM unit, all in all, for 50 bucks. They don't look too bad. I've had these levers on my KTM Duke and on Project Gilby, the XV250 bobber I built in Season 1 of Budget Bobber Build, and I never had an issue with them. So I'm not expecting any trouble, but they are from eBay, they are the brakes, so just go carefully. Just uh, do a few shakedown runs, check them periodically, just to make sure that they're not going to fly off or do anything crazy. That's the clutch lever from a different perspective. They actually look pretty good. I did order silver to match the chrome and this work, but they sent grey. It was obviously lost in translation, but whatever. They look fine. Here's the brake lever. I'm actually quite impressed with it. I think it looks good. Uh, I've got it on setting three. Puts it right where my fingers like to be. But even on setting six, it's certainly still very usable. So guys, that's eBay brake and clutch lever install. Uh, Again, a few more jobs to go, but hope you'll join me next time. Like, comment, subscribe. My name's Alright Taz.